<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. My yeah, boy yeah. Christopher the Conch here. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. You know it. So, just came back from seeing the only movie you should really be seeing this week, I guess. Logan. Oh, Logan. So, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. Oh, yeah. So, one of our colleagues, <coughs> Conch. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't actually see it, um, but we definitely wanted to incorporate him. We're still a team. I was so, busy at Emerald City Comic Con. I apologize. We sent him on a scout mission to, like, recon some pops, so. Yeah, so we we'll give Emerald him a little City's break. But, um, so he's going to ask us some questions, and we're going to run down what we thought, all right? Con special. So, <laughs> pass it over. What's up, guys? All right, guys, so I want to make one valid point in the Marvel Universe right here. All right, Logan. We, we, we like Logan? Love it. Love it. Yeah, Love yeah, it. Yeah. The most overrated character in the entire universe. The hell? Overrated? <laughs> overrated. <laughs> What's up? He's we were keeping it. My God, were you no, watching no. Trolls, man? Like, he got homies, man. Get me off Whoa, whoa, guy. whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Wolverine. I love my yeah, snickety man. snick snick. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> my God. <laughs> All right, guys. So the movie overall, we're looking at Hugh Jackman playing the lead role as Logan. We've got what? Patrick Stewart back in the mix as Professor Xavier. Oh, yeah. Then we've got this awesome little little midget here. I shouldn't call her that. She might claw me to death. Yeah. Uh, Daphne King. She plays Laura, a.k.a. X-2-3. Little ass kicker. Yeah. And then we have Boyd Holbrook, who plays Donald Pierce. And finally, we have Richard E. Grant, who is playing the role of Dr. Rice, the creator of the monster. Mm -hmm. So we get to see all these awesome characters in action. I haven't yet. I will tonight. Yes. But I'm going to go ahead and lay this thought off. So we basically, we're dealing with Logan in a near future area. And basically, he's keeping his distance. Xavier comes into play. And then all of a sudden, we have X-23 brought right back into the mix um, with, with uh, you know her uh, over-accentuated desire for killing people so um oh you know i'm gonna hit it off the get-go so overall is this the best marvel movie that 20th century fox has made thus far and is this the best we've ever seen wolverine i want to say no uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right <I'm> <laughs> sorry I, i'm just gonna say no um you know i believe that they also did Apocalypse. Yes, that's right. Apocalypse. Yes, so sir. that's going to be my favorite, pretty much, hands down, of all time. Yeah. Um, every All the other ones kind of like, um, they missed their potential. So much potential, but they just didn't hit the mark. Yeah. And I kind of felt that way about this one, too. Even though I still liked it, I liked it. But I it could have been like he liked it awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm right there with you. I actually just finished watching X-Men Apocalypse just in case I wasn't, like, missing something. <laughs> so I watched it yesterday, and I rewatched like, Logan twice already just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. So, yeah, definitely, I think, uh, you know, they always take, like, these things out of the comic, and it's, it's, not, it's not old man Logan, but it is an old Logan, you know? Mm. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's strays, it strays from the comic. It's more of a dramatic role. Is it my favorite? No. X-Men Apocalypse would definitely take that because I like what they did with his character. It's a little homage that they did in that one. I was going to say, do you like that that Wolverine in that movie? Or do you like the Wolverine in this movie better in comparison? Oh, well, you know what? This one's a little bit more of a dramatic Wolverine okay. in this, this Logan one. I got to say that this Wolverine in this movie, it's much different. And I appreciate what they did. I did like it more. Okay. I mean, I, like, I just like Hugh Jackman. So it's not like a I don't yeah. like the Wolverine or him playing him. It's just, it's just a story surrounding him that I feel like is lackluster and could have been better. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm just leaving it there because I don't want to make it sound like I don't like it, <laughs> yeah, but right. I do like the movie. Yes, it's a love hate kind of scenario, right? So every movie has its key moments. The moments where you're just like, "Bam, that was awesome," and then you have the moments where you're just like, "Eh, that was all right. You probably shouldn't have filmed that. Edit it out." You know, what were, the, what were the fails and what were the successes of this movie? Whew. Well, I, I like what they did with this Wolverine. Like, he's so broken and stuff like that. You know, he's like kind of pushing his claws out and like he's like a little rusty. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, he still got into that action. They gave us like a like legit rated R kind of movie where he's just like slicing and dicing. You know, obviously you saw that in the Red Banner trailer. Um, some of the things I didn't like as much is... 
you know, they, it's more of a story wise, you know, they, they, they kind of didn't make it like, um, unique in the fact that like they, they could have went with the storyline from the comic book which almost like I can say that about every single Marvel movie made it's like they take the title of a well-known comic book or like what you think it's going to be and they make it something Hollywood so that that's the only thing I gotta say okay. uh, for me the thing that I didn't like what they did with Professor X I have so much I guess respect and he has so much prestige that what they did with him to me, was disrespectful. Oh, yeah. um, and I would have definitely liked for them to cut that part out because, honestly, he was a little annoying. I won't give too much away, but he's not going to be the professor that you are used to seeing on the screen. So are we seeing like, um, a broken professor here? Are we seeing just... Like, I don't want to say, Okay. but he right. just didn't live up to the professor that he's, I know and that you, that you know. Yeah. Um, but what I did like about it um, was the action. The action scenes were pretty much what kept the movie like exciting for me. Uh, I haven't seen action scenes like that in a long time. It's been so long since I've seen like a rated R action scene because every action movie, even Terminator, wants to be rated PG thirteen. I'm like, it just can't be, <laughs> okay? So what I got from the action in that movie, great, hands down, and the acting was great too. Yeah, perfect. Um, so we all know that this is Hugh Jackman's last, you know, last role with uh, with the Wolverine. Apparently, it's been it's been stated that the only way he'll come back is if Fox drops the license and he gets to go over to Disney. I think I would love to do that. I would love them <laughs> I would to do that. So. If there was some type of emergency, we probably all really appreciate that. Yeah, man. Uh, but when it comes down to, it, do you really feel like this is it for Hugh Jackman? And you know, if if it is. Can this wonderful little Daphne King X, as X-23 take over the mantle? Did she bring enough prestige to her role to make you desire more of her? She was dope. Love I'm going to say... I love that little girl. I'm all excited now. <laughs> I'm like, where are they making these little kid actors at? Because right. she seemed like she'd been doing this for years. Like, she just used to interacting with adults in, like, stressful situations she just seemed like she she handled it like a boss. Yes. So as far as is she great? She's great. But could she take over the mantle? No, because for one, she's a little kid, and two, you know, she's not as ferocious as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. um, I think the whole just his name Wolverine is just like dope, and then you have this jacked up guy. I don't know. I don't think she could take over the mantle. I think she'd be a great support. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how the kids are in the X-Men universe now. Right, right. Like the adults pretty much take over the whole movie, but they're, the kids are great support. Yeah. I think that's what she would be. Yeah. I, mean, I think, like, you know, they, and you put it in perspective, like, these little kids, like, where are they getting them from? It's like, if you could imagine, like, you know, Eleven, and then we got this new little girl. It's like, I don't know what they're doing with oh, these kids, man. but they're doing them so Tag awesome. Let's see it. <laughs> right? And so it's like, Eleven's like the Phoenix, and then this one's like Wolverine, so it's just like, awesome. <laughs> yeah, she... It, it was just so good. So, I mean, can she take over the mantle of Wolverine? I don't think that she, like, herself, being the actor, that she would, because I think that they only have some odd years to make a movie. But if they were to carry that story of X-23 into the new one, that's what they're doing in the comic books. They even have X-23 wearing the old school blue and yellow uniform mm -hmm. of Wolverine. That was a new premiere, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I can see that going into it. Like with these new movies they're doing after X-Men Apocalypse, going from the 80s to the 90s, and then maybe you know further on in the future, catching up into this timeline of the new mutants and the all new X-Men. I, I'm all for it, you know. It's really awesome that you guys say that she did a great job because the last role she had was in a TV show called The Refugees, which ended in 2014. Oh. So it kind of trips me out. This little girl has been just trolling around and all of a sudden pops out in a major motion picture and just blows everyone away. That's fantastic. Wow, I did not I know love that. that. I didn't know what that is. It, yeah, it, so, it was a, you know, small-lived. Uh, but um, great lastly, casting. Yeah, amazing. Like, apparently she's good. So I'm looking forward to this tonight. Cool. Um, lastly, uh, when it comes down to it, most of our viewers like to kind of just figure out, is it worth it? So, did you get what you paid for? Would you recommend this? And what would you rate this when it comes down to the movies we've seen so far? I, you definitely, you, everyone needs to see this. I mean, it's the last time, uh, supposedly, you're going to see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So, why not see it? Um, it to me, it's kind of historical. Yeah. Um, and then, it's going to be some awesome fight scenes. It's going to be, to me, I love the score. Especially during the fight scenes, the score was yeah. great. 
Um, I think that it is a. I would I would recommend it to everyone to go see just because it's an X Men movie. Right. Um, they I know I have my issues with it. Um, like they don't really tell you how we got here, and then they don't tell you where they're going next. Um, those are really my issues, and then Professor. But as far as like an action movie, you're gonna get what you want out of an action movie. You're gonna get what you want mm-hmm. out of out Some of Wolverine. Good here, guys. So <laughs> yeah. if I had to rate it, I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, Dust my ears. It just there was a lot of potential for it to be great. I don't know what's going on in these uh, superhero movies where they don't want to be great. They just want to be like mediocre. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would I would recommend it. Yeah, uh, and I, and I think that's the perfect way to put it. Is I think they're taking a safe side and going with something that's just like you know very safe, not not too abundant in whatever way. Especially since it did get this R rating, you know they were throwing f bombs and you know all this killing that was going on. Um, but I mean, like definitely go see it. I would be there right with you, like eight out of ten. You know, go see it. It's historical. It's going to be a new age, you know, going into the new age. But, yeah, there was, like, bits and pieces of, like, okay, how did we get there? And then where are we going to? That, you know, I, I was able to piece a couple things together and some things that I didn't pick up. It takes place in 2029. And then, you know, Professor X, he knows of something that was involved with the rest of the X-Men that he forgot and then learned. So, I mean, there's a lot of great things in this movie that's, I think, set up for a future. But... The last thing I want to toss in there, there's a random event card. We got to see a little bit of Deadpool. <laughs> How was that? Oh, man, that was hilarious. <laughs> so, I mean, you see Deadpool Ryan Reynolds take off his hoodie. I got to see this, so this was great. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't want to spoil nothing either, but, I mean, just take a look at the phone booth and things that are going on, and you're going to laugh, and you're, <laughs> there's little Easter eggs here and there, and it was just awesome. Yeah, I thought it was great. I... Uh, I didn't pay attention to nothing that was going on outside the phone booth. All I saw <laughs> was was ass and him talking, talking about how did they get out of these costumes or how did they get undressed so fast. It was just, it was just funny to me. It was, it was dope. It was Can't awesome. wait to see it. Uh, you're gonna enjoy that. So that, if, if anything, go watch the movie to see that little skit right there because yeah. it's gonna have you laughing. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's all we got for you today. And I'm going to let D'Anthony close us out. So roll it, brother. All right, guys. We're at Break Room Blitz. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let us know. Should Hugh Jackman can reconsider and do some more Wolverine movies? Or is he right? There's nothing left for Fox to do with his character. And we should just let it go. Let us know, guys. Fox, you need to make a deal or something, or just give it over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. Chris the Couch. We're out, baby. Peace. Skink, skink. Stick it, stick it. Oh, hold me back. Oh. Hold me back, man. Oh, oh, oh. He's got claws. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Overrated? Overrated. He's got these little kitten claws, and he can smell farts from, like, 300 yards away. What kind of superpower is Healing that? Healing factor, Hold cut it. through everything. Man. Yeah. The past Who can movie, beat him? I'm sorry. Who can beat movies, him? What, what has that healing factor done for him? Bro. Hey, I can't Bro. talk about the movie. <laughs> but him as a character, yeah. pivotal. No X-Men without him. Stop. Kitty cat.